Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have three quick and easy Halloween DIYs for you today. All three of the DIYs were made using materials from the Dollar Tree. They're inexpensive and easy to make and would be a perfect family craft night. Okay, let me show you how to make them. Let's get started. In our first DIY, I will be showing you how to make this adorable boo sign. Here is a list of the tools and materials I used to complete this project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. For our first DIY, you're going to need a package of the DIY stickers for Halloween. This one has the bats the pumpkins, and the ghosts. And you're also going to need a couple wood letters, B and O, O, to spell out boo, and some black acrylic paint. Okay, so go ahead and pull out two of the little um, bats. We're gonna paint those black as well. And then you'll wanna pull out one of the little ghosts, paint him white, and then I just trimmed him in black. I have him left over from a previous project. So just go ahead and paint your three letters and your two little bats black. Usually one coat is sufficient, but you want to make sure to get the sides and the little edges because you will be able to see those in your project. So I have everything painted. You want to go ahead and set that aside and let that completely dry. And then you're going to need a four by six frame. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. You're going to want one that has a kickstand on the back. And I really like this one. I think it's very pretty. It has kind of a raised design that makes it look much more expensive than just a dollar. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open this up, take the glass out and the, the little paper in the back. You're also going to need a piece of decorative paper that will fit in the back. I chose something that has a dark beige background, some black lines, and then it has a faint um, of writing, handwriting in the back. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but I thought that would go very well with the frame. So just use your pane of glass to measure the size that you need. Just lay it on the back. Trace it out with a pencil and cut it out. Okay, then you're going to want to place your decorative paper in first. Replace the pane of glass and your backing. You just want to make sure that it's the right way if there's any type of pattern on your paper. You just replace that and push your tabs down and secure your frame. Then you're just going to need some uh, craft glue. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and place my letters and I will start with my center letter. And I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm using the Crafter Square uh, craft glue, which does dry clear. I just put a small amount on there. I just kind of use the tip of the tube to move it around. And then just do your best to get it in the center. And then go ahead and place your other letters. And there you go. That looks so cute. And now I do have a, uh, the two bats that I painted. They do come with a little sticky on the back. I never use those because um, they don't seem to hold real well. So I'm just going to use the remove it and use the craft glue. I didn't know if I wanted to use one or two bats. I think one may be sufficient. And then I have my one little ghost. Again, I'm going to remove the sticky and just glue it on. And I'm gonna put this little guy right here on the frame. And there you go, isn't that adorable? In DIY number two, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add a bit of Halloween decor to your home using frames and the Halloween cards from Dollar Tree. Here is a list of the tools and materials I used to complete this project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. For our second DIY, you're going to need to pick up a really cute card for Halloween. Now they have several cards for Halloween that will work. Something on the front uh, that's about this size because this will fit in a 5x7 frame and that has a saying and a photograph on the front that you like. Now, I picked out several. We're going to do this one, and this is just very simple. I picked up this five by seven frame from the Dollar Tree. So uh, I really like it. It has a nice pattern on it that's three-dimensional, which makes it look much more expensive than what it really is. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and open this up, take the plastic off, and remove the backing. Okay, so I have the backing off. I've left the glass in. You're going to want to keep this insert. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your card and go ahead and place it inside. Now you'll need to kind of flip it over and make sure that you have it centered properly so that it fills up the inside of the glass. Once you've done that, you wanna turn it over. Take a little bit of scotch tape and then you just fold it over itself so you make like a little circle. Or if you have double-sided sticky tape, that will work as well. And then you're just going to want to put a little bit on two corners. Again, make sure that your frame is fully lined up, that that picture is right where you want it to be. And then hold it down. 
And then you want to take this insert and slip it in right where it needs to be and press it down. That will help hold the photograph in the correct position. And then just double check to make sure. And then go ahead and put your back on. And then you have an adorable little sign that cost you two dollars and even some of the cards that the Dollar Tree has is two for a dollar so between a dollar fifty and two dollars you can have a really cute little setup and uh, they have several cards that will work now you also want to look for cards that will go together because you can cluster them and the fact that this one is long ways and then this one is more squatty, that they'll look really good together on my mantle or my kitchen island. But this is a really quick and easy craft to do. And you have lots of choices. Your standard cards will fit in a 5x7 frame. In DIY number three, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable paper plate jack-o'-lantern garland. Here is a list of the tools and materials I used to complete this project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. And for our third DIY, we're going to need a package of these paper plates that you can get from the Dollar Tree. They are seven inch in diameter and you get 24. And you'll only need about five or six and then you're also going to want some um, black, either construction paper or cardstock. Crafter Square now carries uh, three sheets of cardstock and it's 12 by 12. This is the black one. And at one side is kind of a smoky, shiny color. And then the other side is very black. Okay, you're also going to need a pair of scissors. And I've also used um, this hole punch. It's one and a half inch. If you don't have that, that's fine. You don't need one. Okay, so cut your piece of uh, black paper, a couple inches by about two inches, so I'd say three by two, something around there. Go ahead and fold it in half. And then go ahead and cut whatever shape you would like for your eye. And I fold it in half so I cut both of them at the same time. That way they will match. Okay, so we're simply going to be making little jack-o'-lantern faces. I have some eyes. Do a little nose. Just go ahead and play with it. And then go ahead and cut your mouth. It's always best to start with just the outside basic shape of your mouth, whether you want it opened or yawning or whatever you decide. Now remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We are working on a jack-o'-lantern.
And then you can go in and cut the teeth out. Okay, once you have all your pieces cut out for your face, you're going to need a glue stick. This is Avery glue stick and I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. And go ahead and place your piece down. Take your glue stick. Go ahead and make sure you get all over so that all the edges and everything have some glue on it so that it gets a good adhesion. And I usually like to start with the mouth. Go ahead and get that place. And then I just kind of work my way up the face, do the nose next. Now you can um, just do these freehand like I did. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can always get online, and do a search for pumpkin faces, print out a couple that you like that will fit on the plate, and then use those as your template to cut your pieces out or you can uh, hand draw them on a separate piece of paper until you like it and then use that as your template however you would like to do it now i did try using several different things to get the face here on these plates now these plates do have some kind of like plastic coating on them so a lot of things did not want to work uh, I tried uh, a Sharpie pen and that wouldn't come out even. Then I tried paint. That didn't want to come out even either. You definitely have to do a couple coats. Then I tried felt. That was better. But I finally landed on cardstock or construction paper and glue stick. Yeah, the whatever coating they have on these plates uh, definitely has an action with uh, having things stick to it. Now you can make your pumpkins however you would like. If you want them happy, make them happy. If you want them scary or silly, whatever your design. It will take a little while for you to get it to lay flat. And the glue sticks can be a little messy, so just be careful. Okay, and once you get your face down, you're going to need a basic hole punch. You want to go ahead and punch a hole right on the top in the center of the rim. Just like that. And then for this one, I'm going to do a little twine bow. So pull out a piece of twine. I usually like to do them about three fingers in width. So I hold the string. Then I wrap around my fingers lightly about five times. Okay, make it six. Cut a piece. Cut another piece. Take that, grab it right in the middle. Take the other piece. Wrap that around the center twice. And then tie a double knot. And then go ahead and trim off any extra jute. And there's your little jute bow. Okay, then you just go ahead and take your twine bow, add some hot glue onto the back, and then you want to go ahead and place that right underneath the hole. Isn't that cute? Okay, and you can do them different. 
And I did two where I used uh, some gingham ribbon. And it's three yards by five eighths of an inch. One is green and white, the other one is orange and white. I picked both of these up at Dollar Tree. I just made a, a simple bow by taking the end, doing a fold, pulling it out, doing another fold so that they cross in the middle, trimming it, and then just putting a piece of floral wire in the middle so that it pinches together. On the green one, I did two of these and I put, pinched them together side by side and then wrapped them. And I did the same thing, but just made a smaller orange one and glued that in the middle. But you can use whatever ribbon you want. If you don't want any ribbon, you don't have to. But I thought that it would be cute to do one like this and one like this. This. So now once you get them all done and you've made your decision of which ones you want to do and how you want to do your faces, then go ahead and grab a string of jute cord. I just simply tied a loop at the end, pulled out a long piece because I'm not sure exactly how long I need it. And then just go ahead and string on your faces, your little jack-o'-lanterns. Just make sure you string them all the same way. So I'm coming up through the back. And then there you go. A quick, easy, and inexpensive garland that you can make. Isn't that adorable? And then whenever you get it up where you want it, you can uh, shorten the string. And if you need to add one more face to make it look fine, depending on how wide of a spread. But I thought five faces would be good. I did them all kind of happy. And these uh, with the round eyes, I used this one and a half inch punch that I got from Michaels. But this is really fun, easy to make. This is a great craft that you could do with some elderly family or some young children. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed these three fun and easy Halloween decor items. I hope you enjoyed the crafts. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and give me some love in the comment section. That really does let YouTube know that I have content that's worth watching. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy and healthy. You have a great day and I will catch you next time.